I want to appreciate God for making us to be alive today. May God's name be praised in the name of Jesus Christ. And let us pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for your goodness and mercies upon us. We thank you for your salvation. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for all the things you have done for us. Thank you for your children that are in your presence this hour. Let your name be exalted in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that you fill them with the power of the Holy Spirit. You touch them and change their lives. You make them to walk in your ways. You transform their lives forever. Father, let there be a touch, a touch of the Master. Let there be a transformation. Let there be deliverance. Let there be light in the name of Jesus. Have your way, O oh God, for all the things you have done for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Beloved people of God, we want to look at a topic that is so special. Our topic today says, God of heaven answers prayer. God of heaven answers prayer. Uh, if you look at the place we took our lesson, the book of Matthew chapter 7 from verse 7, you see where God is encouraging us, his children, not to be tired of asking him, that we should be confident to ask him, that we shouldn't be afraid of asking him anything, that when we ask him, we have to receive. So Matthew chapter 7 from verse 7, from where we took our lesson, ask and it will be given to you, seek and you will find, knock and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and he who seek finds, and to him who knocks, it will be opened. Praise God. Let's look at the book of Daniel, chapter 3, from verse 19. Daniel, chapter 3, from verse 19. Can somebody have uh, read verse 19 to 21 in Bahasa? Daniel chapter 3, from verse 19 to 21, can somebody read it in Bahasa? Daniel chapter 3, from verse 19. 19, uh, uh, sorry, Reverend. Uh, Daniel, Daniel, chapter Daniel chapter 3, 3 from verse 19 to 21. In Bahasa? In Bahasa. Yes. Bahasa. Sorry, ya. Oke. Okay. Uh, 19. Uh, maka meluaplah negara, negara man Nibukat Niza, air, air mukanya berubah terhadap Sadrak, Misak, dan Abid Nego. Lalu diperintahkannya supaya para pian itu dibuat tujuh kali lebih panas dari yang biasa. Ya 20. Pada beberapa orang yang sangat kuat dari tentranya, dititahkannya untuk mengikat sedrak, misak, dan abid nego dan mencampakkan mereka ke dalam para pian yang menyala-nyala itu. Lalu diikatlah ketiga orang itu dengan jubah, celana, buki, dan pakaian-pakaian mereka yang lain dan dicampakkan ke dalam perapian yang menyala-nya. Karena tidak raja itu keras, dipanaskanlah perapian itu dengan luar biasa sehingga nyala api itu membakar mati orang-orang yang mengangkat sedrak bisa dan abid niku itu ke atas. Tetapi ketiga orang itu yakni sedrak, sedrak bisa dan abid niku jatuh ke dalam perapian yang menyala-nyala itu dan terikat. Ketika 24, kemudian terkajutlah raja di bukat meja, lalu bangun dengan segera berkatalah ia kepada para menterinya. 
bukankah tiga orang yang telah kita campakkan dengan terikat ke dalam api itu? Jawab mereka kepada Raja, benar. Ya Raja. Demikianlah firman Tuhan. Oke. Okay. Now, let's read it in English. Then Nebuchadnezzar was full of fury and the expression of his face changed toward Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He spoke and commanded that they hit the furnace seven times, more than it was usually heated. And he commanded certain mighty men of valor who were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and cast them into the burning uh, fairy furnace. Then these men who are bound in their coats, their trousers, their turbans, and their other their other garments, and we are cast into the midst of the burning fury finance. Therefore, because the king's command was urgent and the furnace exceedingly hot, the flame of the fire killed those men who took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell bound into the midst of the burning fairy furnace. Then the king Nebuchadnezzar was astonished, and he rose up and spoke, saying to his counselors, Did we, cast three, did, did we not cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? They answered and said to the king, True, O king. Look, he answered, I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire, and they are not hot, and the form of the foot is like the Son of God. Praise God. God of heaven answers prayer. I want to tell you that today, if there is any good news we have, I have to share with you, it is to tell you that the God of heaven answers prayer. God of heaven, the creator of heaven and earth, he answers our prayer. If there is anything that is causing us a great pain, if there is anything that has made us to uh, be losing confidence in ourselves, if there is anything that has made us to be losing faith, it is when we discover or when our mind will be telling us that God cannot answer our prayers. If there is any reason why men are confused today, it's because devil have deceived them that God of heaven does not answer prayer. But today, we want to tell you that God of heaven answers prayer. God of heaven answers prayer. From where we took our reading, Bible says that there was a time, Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, he challenged God. He commanded everybody in his kingdom to worship him and his idol. He decided to fight against God. He decided to exalt his name against God. He decided to fight against God by erecting an idol, a temple for idol. And when he erected the temple, he commanded everybody to bow down and worship the idol. Everybody we are obeying the commandment of King Nebuchadnezzar. Everybody was bowing down to the idol. The Bible said something about uh, somebody called, uh, some people called Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These people were the children of God. They were Hebrews. And because they were Hebrews, a Hebrew cannot bow down to an image made by human hands. A child of God cannot bow down to an image made by human hands. So they decided that to suffer, they decided to pray, they decided to call upon God of heaven so that the God of heaven will come and deliver them. King Nebuchadnezzar invited them and said to them, I heard that you refused to bow down to my idol. I will give you another chance. I will give you another opportunity 
for you to bow down and worship my idol. Remember that according to the word of God, we should not worship any man-made object. The commandment of God said that we should have no any other God before him. We should not worship any graven or carved image of any form, of any shape, of any creation, that God is spirit. Those that worship him should worship him in truth and in spirit. That there is no need of worshiping idols. There is no need of worshiping any image. God is a spirit. So Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, because they have known the commandment of God, because they have known the word of God, they said to him, O oh, King Nebuchadnezzar, listen and hear our voice. We are not going to bow down to your idols, because we know that our God in heaven is our God. We have a God. We are to worship our God. There is a song that we normally sing. That song is so interesting. If you worship Jesus, you know God die yo. If you worship Jesus, you know God die yo. If you worship Jesus, higher you go. If you worship Jesus, higher you go. A world, Jehovah Jireh. Answer my prayer, Jehovah Jireh, fight my battle, 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 Jehovah Jireh, answer prayer, Jehovah Jireh, answer prayer, oh. Jehovah Jireh, answer prayer. Can we sing it? Jehovah Jireh, answers prayers. Jehovah Jireh, answers prayers. Jehovah Jireh, answers prayers. Sing on. Jehovah Jireh, answers prayer. Jehovah Jireh. Answers prayer, Jehovah Jireh. Answers prayer, Jehovah Jireh. Answers prayer, Ewo. Jehovah Jireh. Answers prayer, Ewo. Jehovah Jireh. Answers prayer, Oh. Jehovah Nisi. Answers prayer, Oh. Jehovah Jireh. Answers prayer, Oh. Jehovah Jireh answers prayer. Oh. If you watch him, Jesus, you know God seek you. If you watch him, Jesus, you know God die you. If you watch him, Jesus, you will live. Oh. Jehovah Jireh answers prayer. Oh. Jehovah Jireh answers prayer. Jehovah Jireh answers prayer. Jehovah Jireh answers prayer. Jehovah Jireh answers prayer. Truly, God of Israel answers prayer. From time immemorial, he has been answering prayers. Whenever you call upon our God, the God of heaven, he answers prayer. If you call him in the morning, he will answer your prayer. If you call him at night, he will answer your prayer. If you call him in any way, are you sick? When you call upon the name of the Lord, he will answer your prayers. And now the Bible says, this Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they are children of God that went down in the land of Babylon to, uh, uh, as slaves, they were taken to exile in Babylon. But when they reached Babylon, they decided to serve God. They decided to worship God. They decided to fear God. They decided to worship the God of Israel. And Bible says, 
Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they said to him, O oh, King Nebuchadnezzar, the king of the armies of Babylon, the mighty man of Babylon, listen to us, O oh, king. We are not going to bow down to your image. We are not going to worship your idol. We are not going to bow down to your temple. Rather, we are the children of God of Israel. We are not afraid. Our God can deliver us. Our God answers prayer. Our God will answer us. Our God will deliver us. We have a God, a living God, who can never change. We have a living God who created heaven and earth. We have a living God who can do all things. We have a living God who created man in his own image. We have a living God who created water. We have a living God who created the land. We have a living God who created all things. Oh, King Nebuchadnezzar, you are ordinary man. King Nebuchadnezzar, you are man. So far as you are a man, you cannot stop us from serving God. They discovered that Nebuchadnezzar was an ordinary man. An ordinary man that wanted them to stop serving the God of heaven. The God that created the moon. He created the sun. He created the stars. He created the whole universe. He created man in his own image. He created everything on earth. He created every living thing on earth. He created water. He created the mountains. He created the great seas, the, the, the fishes of the sea. He created animals in the wilderness. They said to him, even if our God does not, did not deliver us from the fire, even though our God did not deliver us, we are not going to serve your image, King Nebuchadnezzar. We are not going to worship your idol, King Nebuchadnezzar. We are not afraid because God of Israel answers prayer. God of Israel answers prayer. Children of God, we have God in Israel. Our God is the God of Israel. He is the God that can answer your prayer. You cannot be afraid and expect him to answer your prayer. You must behave like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They said, King Nebuchadnezzar, we are serving a living God. Others are serving stone. Others are serving the work of man. Others are worshiping idol. Nebuchadnezzar, we are serving a living God. We are serving God of Israel. We are serving the Prince of Peace. We are serving the Ancient of the Days. We are serving the true God. Oh, King Nebuchadnezzar, even if this God, even if God of heaven did not deliver us, we are not going to bow down to your image. We are not going to bow down to worship idol. Our God of heaven answers prayer. Oh, King Nebuchadnezzar. And Bible said, the king became furious. The king became angry. Who are you to challenge me? Who are you to doubt my word? Who are you to disobey my orders? I am going to kill you. I am going to destroy you. I have power to kill you. I can make you to die. And Bible said, he commanded man, mighty man, to make the fire to be seven times hotter. To make the fire to be so hot, up to seven times. So that the fire will destroy and devour the children of God. And Bible says, those men that went and they, uh, uh, he sent mighty men, they bound them and threw them into the fire. But when they landed into the fire, God of Israel answered their prayer. And Bible said, when they landed into the fire, God of Israel manifested. When they landed into the fire, God of Israel manifested. God appeared in the midst of fire. No wonder the word of God says, even if you see yourself in the midst of the river, in the deep of the sea, I am there. If you see yourself 
in the utmost heavens. If you see yourself in heaven, I am there. If you are passing through the waters, I will be with you. Passing through the fire, I will be with you. Says the Lord of hosts. And Bible says, when they landed into the water, into the fire, the fire was not able to burn them. Not even their clothes. Their clothes was not burned. Their shoes were not touched. Their sandals were not burned. They were covered with heavenly canopy. God covered them with heavenly tapulin. God covered them with heavenly hand. God covered them with his mighty hand. And Bible said, Nebuchadnezzar shouted. We threw three people into the fire. Is it not three people that we threw into the fire? I am seeing another person. I am seeing the fourth person. And that fourth person is like the son of God. My eyes have seen the son of God. The God of Israel is a living God. In the midst of fire, I can see the son of God. In the danger of fire, I can see the son of God. In the midst of fire, God is involved. I can see the presence of God. And Bible said, he commanded the people to bring out Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. When they brought them out, he gave a command. From today, we are going to worship the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Because their God answers prayer. There is nothing too hard for God to do. And Bible said in the book of Jeremiah, I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me to do? Is there anything too hard for me to do? I can do all things, says the Lord. There is nothing I cannot do. I can make water to flow, even in the wilderness. I can make a way where there is no way. I, my voice breaking the cedars of Lebanon. God of Israel answers prayer. When you call upon the name of the Lord, according to the book of Acts and Apostle, I say, when you call the name of the Lord, those that call the name of the Lord shall be saved. There is no any other name given among men whereby we will be saved, if not the name of the Lord. For the name of the Lord is a strong tower where the righteous run into and is protected. And Bible said, the people of Babylon, the people of Babylon feared the God of Israel. They feared the God that created heaven and earth. They decided from that day to worship God who answers prayer. In the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 7, Bible says, Knock, the door shall be opened for you. Ask, you shall receive. God of heaven answers prayer. We are serving the living God. He can answer every prayer. He can answer you when you call upon him. Call upon the name of the Lord. For those that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. When you are in any situation, call upon the name of the Lord. God is always angry whenever we are calling Satan. Whenever we are going to Satan for power. Whenever men are going to devil for protection. God is always angry. He always wants us to call upon his name. Call upon the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus will deliver you. Jesus Christ yesterday, today, and forever is the only solution to humanity. The people of the world should call upon the name of Jesus. In this situation, we are facing natural disaster. Uh, we are facing man-made disaster. We are facing pandemic. We are facing terrorism. We are facing insecurity. We are facing war. We are facing the end time battles. We are facing the attack. We are facing the kingdom of darkness fighting against the church. And Bible said that we should call upon the name of Jesus. We are facing sickness. Call upon the name of Jesus. God can never change. I have a father who will never change. I have a father who will never change. I have a father who will never change. Who will never change. Who will never change. Forevermore. Hallelujah. I have a father who will never change. I have a father who will never change. 
Ave Father, go we never change, go we never change, go we never change forevermore. Hallelujah, Ave Father, go never change, Ave Father, go never change. Jesus is my Father, go we never change, go we never change, go we never change. Forevermore, ancient of days, as old as you are, hey, as old as you are, you will never change, Mahakalabada. Ancient of days, oh, as old as you are, as old as you are, you will never change. A shirt of days, oh, as old as you are. Oh, dear Jehovah, you will never change. A shirt of days, oh, as old as you are. As old as you are, you will never change. Hey, I will. You are glorious, so glorious in your way. Father, you are wonderful, so wonderful in your way. Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. You are glorious, so glorious, Yahweh. God of heaven answers prayer. And Jesus said to his disciples, Go into the world and tell the people of the world that God answers prayer. That is God in Zion. That is God in Israel. Go and tell the people of the world about Jesus. Share the gospel to them that they should come to God. According to the book of Matthew eleven twenty-eight. 28. Come unto me, all ye that labor and heavy laddings, I will give you rest. Come unto me. There is a message going this morning that God of heaven answers prayer. We are serving a God who can never fail. Never fail me. Never fail me, Lord. Jesus Christ. Never fail me, Lord. That is what I know. Whenever I go. Jesus Christ, never fail me. I say, never fail me. He never fail me. Jesus Christ, never fail me. That is what I know. Ha. Whenever I go, Jesus Christ. Never fail me. And Bible says, immediately, God of Israel intervened and answered prayer. Are you still afraid? I have one message for you. God of Israel answers prayer. And Jesus said to them, have faith, believe. If your faith is as little as mustard seed, you will command mountain to move from this place to another, it will obey. Because you believe that God of Israel answers prayer. We read in the Bible about blind Bartimaeus. Blind Bartimaeus, when Jesus was passing through Jericho, the man that was born blind, he was blind from the mother's womb. He shouted, Jesus, son of David, have mercy upon me. Jesus, son of David, have mercy upon me. And Jesus came to him and asked him, 
What do you want me to do for you? He said, Rabbi, Rabbi, that I may see, that I may use my eyes and see. And Jesus said to him, start, open your eyes and start seeing. Immediately, he started seeing. God of heaven answers prayer. God of heaven answers prayer. God is God that answers by fire. He is the God of Elijah. During the time of Elijah, he answers by fire. God of heaven answers prayer. What is your condition? God of heaven answers prayer. What is your challenges? What is your predicament? What are you passing through? Are you a person through persecution, sickness, or infirmity, God of heaven answers prayer. Anywhere you are, we want to pray. If you want to give your life, your faith to God of heaven, if you want to stop following man, following devil, to follow Jesus, I want you to identify with us in our prayers. But before we pray, I want to hand over to Pastor Shilda, so that she will translate this message in Bahasan language, in Malaysia language. So we are handing over to Pastor Shida to, hand, to translate this message in Bahasa. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Reverend. Terima Tuhan yang Reverend kongsikan kepada kita hari ini bercakap tentang uh, dua petikan yang dia ambil. Pertama itu diambil daripada Matthew, Matius pasal 7 ayat yang ke-7 hingga ayat yang ke-12. Nah, Firman Tuhan sini mengatakan bahwa mintalah maka akan diberikan. Oke, okay? dia mengatakan di sini bahwa mintalah akan diberikan, carilah maka kamu akan mendapatnya. Oke, okay? dan apa yang kita minta, kalau kita mengetuk pintu, pintu akan dibukakan bagi kita. Jadi ada sesuatu message yang Reverend katakan. Kenapa dia ambil petikan ini untuk konikkan kepada petikan Daniel? Karena ada sesuatu message yang dia ingin sampaikan kepada kita hari ini. Bahwa di saat kita meminta kepada Tuhan, Tuhan pasti akan menjawab. Itu bercakap tentang iman percaya kita kepada Tuhan. Dan di dalam petikan Matius ini adalah sebagai dasar di mana kita mempunyai iman untuk mengimani setiap apa yang dikatakan oleh firman Tuhan. Yesus sendiri sudah membicarakan hal ini kepada kita. Bahwa kita akan meminta, maka Tuhan akan memberi. Bila kita mencari, Tuhan akan mem kita akan mendapatkan apa yang kita dapat. Nah, kita boleh melihat tadi apa yang dia katakan itu adalah sesuatu yang Ya, amat memberkati kita dan juga dia membawa perkongsian firman Tuhan ini untuk 